Hello and welcome back to my Ultimate Decades Challenge. In the last episode, we had our first baby of the challenge and a hard loss with Olive's death, but I'm so excited to be back with the Greys. And you might notice a special guest here as well. This is Harlow Fairburn, Annika's fiance. As you saw in the intro, I played through the first two days of 1302. Annika, Leaf, and Tobias went to Henford on Bagley to sell some items and stopped at the bar for the night on the way home. While they were here, Annika met Harlow and they instantly clicked. He is a pirate who is living near the pier in Windenburg and he does do some traveling but his home base is here. I think he's a perfect match for Annika and I'm so excited to see where their story will end up going. At the bar, the kids also met Calliope Misko, who's the head of the Misko household with three daughters and a son, and they've moved in across from the Greys, and we'll see them at Annika and Harlow's wedding in about an hour here. We've also seen that Tobias is really embracing his new mean trait, and him and Leaf were fighting the entire time during their trip. Tobias has been pushing everyone in his family away except for Annika, who he still has a good relationship with. Besides that, the family has just been working on their skills and trying to cope with the loss of Olive. We'll hop into the Brune household tomorrow for Gregory's young adult birthday, but I'm not considering them a side household anymore, so we won't be following them too closely after that. Although I do have some ideas for Michael's story, so we might see him a little bit more down the line. We'll head over to the wedding right away here, which should go better than the previous one, hopefully. We've already paid the $1,000 tax to the church and the $500 tax to the Lord, so we'll just have to pay our dowry to Harlow after the wedding. Harlow is a young adult and his traits are determined, kleptomaniac, loves the outdoors, self-assured, and adventurous. Okay, so it looks like we didn't have the best turnout here for all the people we invited. This is Atlas Misko. He is the son of Calliope Misko. And here she is. I'll have to change her outfit. Um, I just had Tobias come over here and wish for simoleons. And we just got a ton of money. So that's really awesome. And then the other person I wanted to introduce you guys to is Aldous. He is the Earl of Windenburg. He's married to the Princess of Windenburg. So um, I believe he'll be the next king after our current or lord, after our current lord passes away. Annika's sat down here with Daphne Misko. This is one of the daughters of Calliope. She's just talking to her about the wedding. I think she's telling her how excited she is. She's so happy that she's found somebody that she loves and she's so excited to marry him. They're married! Yay! That definitely went a lot smoother than the last one. <laughs> so I just popped down this little banquet table here and we're going to serve... Let's do roast duck. That sounds good. And we'll have a little celebration here and have some toasts. We'll just serve an assortment actually because... Then we can do time to eat. So this is another one of the Miscos. This is Elena Misco. I want her and Leaf to get to know each other a little bit better. I think they might 
be compatible. At the end of this year, he'll be old enough to get married. So I kind of want to get something going for him. <gasps> Attractiveness alert. Leaf just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at... Oh my gosh, Elisa? Um... That's, I think I want to stay away from the Bruins. Oh. Also, for Elena. So he finds Elena and Elisa. Super attractive. All right. I am going to call the wedding here. We'll have Annika and Harlow move out into their new home together, and we will pay the dowry, which is going to be 5,000 simoleons, because um, technically pirates are like the lowest class of the social order, but I'm thinking he wouldn't be a serf because he is able to travel and... Um, yeah, so we're basing it off of the price for a lower class freed person. Okay, so they've moved into Harlow's house here down by the pier in Windenburg. Um, for some reason, when they came, Annika took our sheep soup and Delilah so I don't know if we'll be able to gift them to our family or if we'll just have to purchase different sheep when we get back. But um, yeah, kind of strange that that happened. But we will have them. Can they try for a baby? So they are going to go have their first baby try. Hopefully they'll be lucky with that. And we'll probably have them go over for a visit tomorrow and try to get give the sheep back and um, some other things. And that is not the pajamas I gave you. I'm going to have her take a pregnancy test. Um, so in the 1300s, they would pee on bags of wheat and barley seeds and then uh, wait several days. And if the seeds sprouted, they were thought to be pregnant. So that is what she's going to do. You can finish that later. She's getting really good at painting. We have a few in um, Isabella's inventory that are worth a lot, so... She's pregnant! Yay! Okay, so we'll have them go over to the main household and I'll see if I can get our sheep back home. Alright, we're over here. So let's share our big news with mom. Where are you going? <gasps> Harlow just stole the painting on the wall. The kleptomaniac. This is what I had to frame it. <laughs> I guess he was just <laughs> stealing his wife's artwork back. Can't blame him for that. Oh, I miss, I miss this, but it seemed like she was happy about it. Okay, we can give them back to Isabella. You get Delilah and Soup. Let's see if she likes it. Oh. 
<laughs> she liked it. <laughs> Alright, we'll switch back over. I just want to send the kids out hunting and then we'll pop into the Bruins to check on Michael and have Gregory's birthday. Okay, Soup and Delilah are back at their rightful place and we will have the boys go out. You can go for a stroll by yourself just to simulate him going hunting. Actually, our hunting day was yesterday, but I didn't have time to do it with the wedding. So these guys will go today. So Tobias stayed back. He was not in the mood to go. And they're just having a fire with um, Harlow and Annika. And he is going to discuss interests. He is telling him that he is really interested in the pirate lifestyle. He thinks he would be really well suited for it. Um, and Annika, Annika has seen that Tobias hasn't been getting along with the family and kind of knows the struggle that he's going through. He doesn't really want to be staying here. So he's going to talk to Harlow and see if there's any opportunity for him to join. It seems like... Let's see. He's going to whine about his unfair life. He is saying he really doesn't want to stay here with his family and Harlow is going to say um, he'll have to talk to Annika and make sure she approves but he would be fine with him coming and staying with them and going on the next trip with him so this family seems to be doing okay Bridget is just working on a cake for Gregory. I think Gregory is being a good dad. I think he it was probably really difficult for him to lose all of especially right after the baby was born and having to like take on parenthood by himself I guess he did have his parents supporting him as well but I think family is really important to Gregory so he has been doing a good job with him looks like they have a pretty good relationship oh yeah he's definitely missing all of Okay, before anybody takes a piece of this, let's add birthday candles. All right. And let's have Gregory blow out the candles. <laughs> you gonna age up? Yay! He's a young adult. Okay, so we'll see what Gregory's last trait is. So he is proper and clever. I'm not doing that one. And analytical. Okay, I see that for him. Um, I think his proper, clever, and analytical. I think he would want to be I think he would want to be a renaissance sim so he will want to be good at many things at once 
Okay, so we'll do Gregory's death roll. He needs to avoid a 6 and a 14. And he is safe. So Michael isn't going to lose his father, so that's awesome. We're going to call this episode here. In the next one, we will have um, our harvest at the beginning of the year. We'll have Milo's teen birthday. And we are also going to do an archery contest. So I'm super excited for that. Um, I had so much fun with today's episode and um, I really appreciate you being here for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in 1303.